So I did a few uh, warm-up sets so far uh, of just a squat. Uh, Tyler suckered me into hitting up some benching. He wasn't feeling it today. So I said, hey, dude, let's, like, I, I'm feeling it. I feel really good. I just got done with my run walk. I already did that. I got here early today. And so I said, all right, it's on. So he and I uh, went and we did some benching. And then, unfortunately, he kicked my ass. You're not really supposed to do, like, I own the gym and I make the gym free and I try to be nice to people and then go and get treated like that. I didn't really like the way the squat felt. So rather than quit and give up and cry, I'm gonna do some leg extensions first, pump, pump a lot of blood in here because if I'm gonna think about my goals, and this is something we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do this in another video where I'll really go over this, but like if I think about my goals for right now, my goal is to, I'm really just trying to look better, you know, in terms of uh, lean muscle mass. I mean, I can't get any more handsome than this. You guys already know I broke the record on that. World record holder in looks. Um, but what I'm gonna try to work on is better quality of muscle like you know in my legs and stuff i'd really like to start to get some striations to come out and stuff like that especially as we end world carnivore month and kind of prove to people that you can be on a diet like this and get completely shredded so if i'm thinking about my goals and i'm thinking in tune with what i'm doing for the day i don't really have to handle a crazy amount of weight on the squat all i need to do is squat uh, but I'm gonna do leg extensions first, get a uh, lot of blood in here. And like, when I go to squat, it like, I don't know, I might use like two plates or something like that. It doesn't, doesn't have to be uh, anything crazy or anything heavy, just I need stimulus. Um, and back to the goal. So, you know, I wanna have, um, I'd also like to have better conditioning. So that means a little less rest in, rest in between sets, a little bit less of what I'm doing right now, a little bit less of that. So once we get rolling, then we'll get rolling. Um, better muscle quality I mentioned that part and then what was the other one there was something else I wrote down just five seconds ago and it already left my brain don't you hate when that happens I guess those are kind of the main things oh move better move better muscle better and conditioning muscle better is just better quality of muscle I would say muscle up but then everybody thinks that I'm going for muscle up and everyone's gonna be like you're gonna tear your pack so those are the things that I'm after and I want to move better so for today when I do my squats I might elevate my heel a little bit and going goals first you know taking those goals and making them a priority the weight is not the priority the, the goal and the mission is i want to move better so if i want to move better a squat is a great range of motion or a great movement to acquire a large range of motion right i can really move over a great distance in something like this so i'm going to take advantage of that as soon as i get done with these leg extensions Garbage set coming up. Garbage set is just to get acquainted. I'm just getting acquainted with the machine. I own this machine and I'm in here all the time, but like, I don't remember this. Set. I like to have the machine set up in this case. So it's really stretching my legs a lot. It has all these weird settings, but I have it pinned back behind me as far as possible so that my legs can really try to stretch. And I can tell I have the, the bench is a little short. So I'm gonna move the pad back a little bit. And that way I can kind of wiggle while I'm into it. That first weight gives me an idea of like what I want to do on my sets. I'm actually going to lower the weight a little bit. I, I like to personally have zero negative feedback from the movements that I do. Zero, none. Um, now, if I'm going heavy, I will tolerate a level of three in terms of pain. And that's okay for me. But anything higher than that uh, is just going to lead to further injury. So I will... If I had a pain level of higher than three, then I might move on to another exercise. I might retry to warm up or try to do some mobilization of some kind. Whatever I need to do to get the sets, to get the work in that I'm supposed to get for the day. To do a little walk back and forth. By the time I get to the leg extension, it'll be time for set number two. You're currently working out fasted? Always. 
Yeah, it's uh, I mean, I hate the word always, but like it's very rare. It's very, very rare. Very rare that I wouldn't work out fasting. Um, Pre-workout, my secret pre-workout that I have every day is nothing. And the secret word, secret thing I have post-workout is nothing. I, I do use Kratom. I use my, our, my product called Mind Bullet. Um, I, that really helps me a lot with fasting. Helps put me in a good mood for my training sessions, but other than that, there's nothing. So what I'm gonna do on this set, I'm gonna do about four to eight reps of each different angle. This machine, we're blessed to have these machines in here. They have different angles. So I'm gonna shift it into some different angles and I'm gonna make sure I hit everything from every angle that I can. So here we go. Controlled movement. Two, three, here's rep number four. And we're doing a cadence of about three or four on the way down. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Two more reps. One, two, get that eccentric in there. And boom, shift. What we shift into doesn't matter. Now the load is in the beginning of the exercise. Back to walking. I make this a little harder. Grab a little bit of weight. Do a weighted carry really light 40 pounds think about this i used to weigh grab about three of these or two and a half of these that's how much extra weight i was lugging around every day here we go is another set that last set was actually actually felt pretty tough so i might only do two sets of it because if i was to do three sets of it i'll get really sore how much negative feedback do we want from our training we want none we want all the positive benefits, but I don't want to be sore for seven days. If there's any soreness, I want it to be a little bit of, uh, I want it to be some tightness and maybe even some pain, but for two or three days, but I want it to be pretty mild. I want it to be pretty mild. That's the way that we get hurt. not necessary for me to do another set got two working sets in there that definitely is uh, plenty of what i needed gonna move into the squat got the box sitting right there as a target the box is set up as just a target for me to get a certain amount of movement going got chris duffin's transformer bar we have it on a setting that is supposed to feel a little bit like a front squat and or like a high bar squat I've never squatted like this before, but I wanted to give it a shot. So here we go. pitching me forward holy shit. got a little bit of water a little bit of salt in here something to help get me through my workout those of you trying to follow along and do sometimes some of the workouts that I'm doing just get any specialty bar sub in any specialty bar that you can if you're at a gym that doesn't have specialty bars change gyms go to one every gym should have a safety squat bar or cambered bar transformer bar every gym should have some of these bars if they don't have them they're not a real gym pretty simple so just tell people from now on just tell people you're going to exercise instead of telling me you're going to the gym and say I'm going to exercise until otherwise they start getting equipment that represents some real world gym equipment
weight I need for today to uh, reach my goal. So a couple sets of that. So this uh, next set right here, I got the elevated heel. Um, I got about one or two more sets left in me before the wheels start falling off. Again, I'm not obsessed about the weight. I'm trying to uh, get a little bit better muscle quality. And I don't, in addition to that, uh, I'm trying to move a little bit better. So those are the goals for today. Started out with some leg extensions, got a pre-pump from that. And here we are doing some squats with the transformer bar for my boy, Chris Duffin. Elevated heel should allow for a little bit better range of motion. Which the range of motion is the same because the box height's the same, but I should be able to get down there a little easier. More quad focus. set <laughs> again the uh, weights underneath the heels just a little bit more quad focus it's got a lot lower to go now more for good measure I know it looks pathetic 185 pounds but it's like everything I got to get through that um, there's different ways of increasing the variable increasing the intensity of what you're doing and uh, one way is to add more range add more range of motion and you're adding a lot more volume to your set so uh, it doesn't always have to be that you do more weight. You don't always need to do more reps. You don't always need to do more sets. Increase the range of motion of what you're doing. Instead of doing regular flat bench, go do some dumbbell bench. The bar, or sorry, the dumbbell will travel behind the midline of your body much further. And it's a completely different lift. And the time under tension is a lot greater. So. Look at some exercises that can help uh, increase some of your range of motion. Gonna move on into doing some step ups for some single leg dynamics and a little bit of uh, core stability stuff. And I'll be done. So what I'm gonna be doing here is some step ups and I'm gonna mix it with uh, some like, I guess you'd call them like chops. See how much weight that is. That's probably a little heavy, but I'll use less weight next time. But just kind of moving like this. To the other side, I'll be good to go. So I'm super set back and forth. I do the step ups. I'm gonna work into bringing the other leg up. I do 10 reps on each leg. And uh, this is just something I was thinking about the other day. Like my back has been feeling, like my back feels good. I feel strong. I feel very healthy, but my back feels just a little iffy. And I'm like, well, I'm not really getting a lot of different movement in my training, so. Let me move around a little bit more, do like lunges and single leg stuff and really so I can open up and move around and move and groove a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. When I do this step up, I'm gonna bring this other leg up. I'm trying to drive this knee up higher than the hip. It's just gentle, I'm not trying to knee someone in the face or anything too crazy. I come back down, I'm trying to catch myself. So I'm not falling too hard. Uh, 
That was a cheap one. <laughs> there we go. 10 seconds rest. Drive off this leg, drive the heel through the box, and flex your butt. Whoa. There you go. Work. No. You don't need this fancy pulley here to do this. Any handle will kind of work. Single handle will work really well. Let's walk the arms far away from us. Once we get like here, you can really feel that in your core. And we don't want to be like, like doing this. It's with your stomach. You're trying to turn and twist. Twist. It's a weighted twist. And it doesn't need to be very heavy. Because how much twisting do I do? Probably not much. We can get a little different with it too. We can kind of be over here on this leg. And as we twist, we can come over here more. We can kind of shift around a little bit more. Don't be afraid to move around whatever ways you want. I can get away from the cable. I can start to turn. Whatever feels good. Back to the leg, the step ups rather. Again, make sure you flex your butt. And when you get to the top, you should really lock this leg out and get that kind of full hip extension. a little bit. And in my butt. Opposite leg, opposite arm like you're running. Whoops, I got confused. <laughs> Yeah, see, I got the same one. It should be opposite leg. Like that, there we go. <laughs> oh. One more thing to do. I like, you know, I like doing uh, 
different movements. Um, I like keeping things simple. Uh, but because I like to do different stuff, I don't like to spend too much time on one thing. So I'm gonna move in a little bit more fun, which is uh, smashing the shit out of our tire that we have in here with a, with a giant hammer. So that'll be the last thing to do for today. What I always talk about is, is something repeatable? Things that are repeatable be easy and simple to do. This isn't a simple setup. This takes a while to set this up. So I'm not gonna do this every day. Smashing the day. Like my shorts are falling off. The good news is I don't have any underwear on. Now I got the fat ones to do. Mr. Burns, I'm giving you the beating of a lifetime. Insert that clip here from the Simpsons. Cause that's what I'm doing right here. I got nothing. You know, it's so awesome to come in here and see all these different people, like having an opportunity to exercise with a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. What does that mean in terms of lifting weights? That just means like that is a hardened person, right? Like that guy knows how to work out. That guy knows how to work hard. And he mopped the floor of me today. He absolutely kicked my ass. Benching 275 for a bunch of sets of 10. After that, I moved into some squatting and after that, uh, well, before that, I moved into some leg extensions. I didn't like the way the squats were feeling. Leg extension first, get the pre-fatigue going, pre-exhaust, and then bang out the squats. And on the squats, the goal was range of motion movement and build up some muscle. And then after that, uh, we moved into uh, doing some step ups and some twists. And now we're finishing up with this guy right here. And that's gonna be uh, all that we got for today. Last round. And you haven't had any calories since yesterday? I just had one meal yesterday. Uh, today is day number five of one meal a day. Um, it's feeling really good. Today I'm actually really excited and pumped because I'm, gonna, I'm doing my one meal at home. And I'm going to have a protein shake with everything, which I haven't had in a really long time. So I'm kind of using that as like a little bit of a treat. It's probably a little bit off the carnivore diet. It is whey, which I guess comes from a cow, but... I've been super strict. I haven't really had anything other than in week one where I had a couple onions and a couple things mixed into some recipes. The only other thing that I've had that's plant-based would be uh, mind bullet. The only other thing that would be plant-based would be some seasoning. Um, and that's it. So really, really minor amounts. And even, even mind bullet, I've taken a few days off of mind bullet because I'm really trying to discover and uncover uh, what the meat what the strictly just the meat will do for me. And that's feeling really good. Here we go. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Gonna go this way. One you gotta be careful with. This thing's crazy. <laughs> Extra one for good luck.
we go. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Keep walking. Get the air to come back. That's it for today. Let me know what you want to know about working out. Well, you know, I know about strength, getting lean or getting jacked. Put in the comments below. Don't forget, I'll say that Jimmy G jersey, hoodie, whatever that thing is, which I actually really like a lot. So I'm hoping you don't get the price right. But if you do, get it in the first two hours of this video dropping. Now I'll, just, I'll send it to you. Maybe I'll send you an autographed copy of like Jack and Tan or something like that and autograph it for you. Appreciate you all following along. Tag your friends, tell your friends, tell people that this is the place to come. You're not gonna find others, anybody else like me on YouTube or, any, or anywhere else in the world for that matter. Squatted over a thousand pounds, benched over 800 pounds, 578 pound raw bench press at 275 pounds. Been bench pressing over 500 since I was 25 years old. And uh, I've been in this game for a long time, competed in some bodybuilding. The only thing I haven't really competed in is CrossFit or Strongman, but I know a little bit about some of those subjects as well. And uh, as far as diet is concerned, uh, I've been studying that pretty much since I got into this game at about 14, 15 years old, when I really started my learning process. I started lifting at like 12, 43 now. So a lot of knowledge sitting right here for you. You can ask me anything you want. Strength is never weakness. Weakness is never strength. Catch you all later. Whoosh.